Hi, in the last video we left off at step back, ride the tiger and palm strike to face. So we'll start off with palm strike to face. Now we're going to go into double lotus kick. Now double lotus kick is the same as the single lotus kick that we did earlier, except to use two hands instead of one hand. Okay. Okay. Right high pat the horse, block. Palm strike to face. Turning. The right hand circles over the top of the left. Both hands go over to the right hand side of the body. The right leg is over the left hand side of the body. Bring up the right leg and across. Right, double lotus kick. Now if you remember earlier, single lotus kick. Single lotus kick was a single hand, like this. The difference with double lotus kick is it's just two hands. Other than that, it's exactly the same, yeah? Okay. So right high pat the horse, block, palm strike to face, turning, right hand over left, double lotus kick. Now we're kind of stopping halfway through a move here, because the next one's called bend the bow, shoot the tiger. So there you go. After fighting the tiger, doing all sorts of things with the tiger, finally riding the tiger, we get to shoot it. <laughs> we don't need it anymore. Okay, so that's the next move that's coming out of there. So let's go to that. We'll go up to that point, then I'll go over it in more detail. Right high pat the horse, block, palm strike to face, turning, right hand over left. Okay, double lotus kick. Now for here, for bend the bow, shoot the tiger, we do a circle, we circle, Hands out, they go over. Then they go down. And then they circle forward. Yeah, so from front on, it would look like this. Yeah, over, down, forward. Let's try that again. Yeah, double lotus kick. Bend the bow, shoot the tiger. Now if you look, the left hand doesn't go straight out, it hammers out, and the elbow is held in, okay? Right hand is up. We've gotta make sure we're not back like this or we're not out like this. There's a relationship between the hands, a feeling of pulling back and pushing forward, okay? Let's go here, right high pat the horse, block, palm strike to face, turning, turn left heel, right toe, okay, double lotus kick, touch heel, bend the bow, shoot the tiger, yeah, let's do that again, right high pat the horse, block, palm strike to face, turning, Double lotus kick, bend the bow, shoot the tiger. Now from here, step forward with the left leg, right high pat the horse, block, and palm strike to face again. Sink back, closing down. Okay, turn left heel, shift the weight right toe, turn body hammer. Yeah, let's try that again. Right high pat the horse. Block, palm strike to face. Turning, right hand over left. Double lotus kick. Bend the bow. Shoot the tiger. Step forward with the left, right high pat the horse. Block, palm strike to face. Sink back, pulling back. Turn left heel, shift the weight, right toe. Turn body hammer. Step forward, right high pat the horse. Yeah, so we've got turn body hammer, and then we step forward with the left leg, right high pat the horse. Now we're just finishing off the form here. So we circle the hands, circle, stepping forward, grasping bird's tail. The same as all the other grasping bird's tails we're done, 
push into the corner of your body hook and single whip and watching the left hand and closing wrists together elbows down breathing in wrists down breathing out body up and fingers down okay let's go over a few parts there okay firstly palms strike the face we're comfortable with that turning yeah double lotus kick bend the bow shoot the tiger step forward with the left leg right high pat the horse block palm strike to face sink back pull back turn left heel shift the weight turn right toe and turn body hammer so turn body hammer is the same as the ones we've done earlier on in the form step forward with our left leg right high pat the horse yeah circle the hands so here what we do is the right hand pushes over the left both hands form a circle so circling the hands like this circling circle the hands step forward grasping bird's tail yeah and then we push hook and the same as earlier single whip and then we close feet together wrists together elbows down breathing in bring your wrists down breathing out bring your body up and your fingers down yeah so let's look at that we've gone palm strike to face and then we go turn body hammer high pat the horse circle the hands grasping bird's tail so turn body hammer step forward right high pat the horse circle grasping bird's tail turn body hammer right high pat the horse circling the hands step forward grasping bird's tail from left side to right side pushing to the corner of your body hook and single whip and closing elbows down breathing in wrists down breathing out body up and fingers down okay so back here palm strike to face turning right Double lotus kick, bend the bow, shoot the tiger. Right high pat the horse, block, palm strike to face, turn back, turn body hammer. I'm just doing it back to front so you can see from the front. Washing the dishes, so you're circling the hands, stepping forward, grasping bird's tail from left side to right side, pushing, hook, and single whip. And closing, feet together, wrists together, elbows down, breathing in, wrists down, breathing out, body up, and fingers down. So let's do a few practices of that together. Okay, right high pat the horse. So left leg is forward, block, palm strike to face, turning, double leg kick. Bend the bow, shoot the tiger. Step forward, right high pat the horse, block. Palm strike to face, pull back. Turn heel, toe, turn body hammer. Right high pat the horse, circling. Stepping forward, grasping bird's tail. And single whip. And closing, feet together, wrists together, elbows down, breathing in, wrists down, breathing out, body up, and fingers down. Okay, one more time. Palm strike to face, turning, double lotus kick, bend the boat, shoot the tiger. 
stepping forward, right hip at the horse block, and palm strike to face, sink back, turn body hammer, right hip at the horse, circling, stepping forward, grasping bird's tail, push, hook, and single whip, and closing, wrists together, elbows down, breathing in, Wrist down, breathing out, body up, and fingers down. So congratulations, you've learnt 108 movements, Wu style, Tai Chi, slow form. So it's kind of like, you go, well, where do I go from here? You go back to the start. Because the form is meant to not to be done, but to be studied. And in studying it, you'll get more understanding and that understanding will actually work towards you performing the form better, which will actually bring more health benefits to you into your life. Okay, so you go back to the start and you do it. And each time you go over it, you're looking at, at it in maybe a different way than the last time you did. Now, as far as time to do it in goes, if you can get the time to do the whole form, that's fantastic. If you can't, take sections of the form. Do it slowly, don't rush. We haven't talked about speed or anything. You still need to integrate breathing into that, into the whole form, and that in itself is another series of videos. But what I suggest is this. I suggest do the form, right, and gently just pace it, in a gentle fashion so that you just start to feel the flow and pay attention to what it feels like on the inside. Don't get too caught up on the outside, feel the inside and breathe deeply when you do the movements. In this way, you'll start to understand and feel the internal part of Tai Chi. You'll start to have a glimpse of it and it will start to affect your life and change your life, yeah? So I suggest going back, practicing, relearning, and studying. If you go back to the first video again, I'm sure you'll start to notice things that you never saw before. In particular, the one that you probably skimmed over, the one on preparation, posture, and balance, right? That is so important. Like we really want to live, learn all the movements and stuff, but often you miss out on the important things. That's what will set up your foundation and that's what you carry throughout the whole of the form. I really appreciate you seeing this series. Uh, look out for other video series that I've got and other things like meditation or breathing for like deep breathing routines for releasing stress in our daily lives. Okay, for stress relief and relaxation. Take care of yourself and goodbye.